Hello everyone! Finn here and Arcanine told me that they really wanted to hear this specific read aloud and it's called The Jazz Fly and it's one of their favorites so they were wondering if we could read it together and share the video with you students so you can hear it too. Hopefully they'll be good listeners. That means no barking while I'm reading. And you don't just get up and leave. You wait for the whole story. Okay, Finn? Okay, Arcanine? Zzz, a fly buzzed by. It was late in the day, and he was lost. So he flew to a frog that was sitting on a log and asked the frog, which way to town? Zabaza, Buzaba, Ziza, Roni, the frog didn't get the way the jazz fly talked. Ribbit, the frog answered. Ribbit, ribbit. The fly flew zzz, to a hog in a bog. He stayed clear of the mud to keep his black tucks clean and asked the hog which way to town. Zabaza, bazaba, ziza, roni. Oink, the hog answered. Oink, oink. The fly saw a donkey, short and gray, so he flew zzz, to ask him the way. Zabaza, bazaba, ziza, roni. The donkey just began to bray. Hee haw, hee haw. At last, the fly flew to a furry dog. Did you know you were going to be in the story? One more time he asked. Zabaza, buzaba, zizaroni. Ruff, 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 barked the pooch right away. She pointed her nose as if to say, go that way. The jazz fly flew past weeds and clover till he reached a street that was paved all over. He leaned left down the alley, right through the door. He saw fancy waiters creeping all across the floor. Beetles and maggots had come to hear the show. They were dining with the locusts by the firefly's glow. The band was looking antsy. It was half past eight. They grumbled. Man, this fly is always late. The fly tugged at his sleeves, strolled to his drums, twirled around his brushes, and counted off a song. Za, z, za, zi, zu, ze. While Willie the worm inched up and down his bass, ba bim bum, bom bum, ba bim bum, bom bum. Nancy the gnat sashayed with her sack. Sammy the centipede hit the piano keys like a man with a hundred hands. Daddy, boogie, woogie, woogie. Daddy, boogie, daddy, woogie, daddy. The fly swished with his brushes, swish, thumped with his bass drum, thump, thump. Made his cymbals ring. Ring, thing, ping, ting, ving, zing. Then, like a chef stirring his dinner in a pot, he put it all together and dished it out hot. Zap, ting, zap, ba doom, baby, swish, zap, ba, boom, zap, ba, zee, za, ooh. The fly was jamming, not scamming, but swimming like a salmon. Arcadine likes to catch flies in her mouth, but hopefully she wouldn't catch the jazz fly. He's too talented. But then the club's queen bee sat down with a huff. This, band's play, this band plays good, but that's not enough. I want a sound that'll make bugs shout. I want a new beat, or this band is out. What do you think, Finn? Are they going to make a, a tune that's going to please the queen bee? I'll take that as a yes. He thinks they will. That's his prediction. 
The fly, who had been very confident until now, suddenly felt kind of small. He knew he'd have to come up with something different if the jazz bugs were to keep their jobs at the jazz club. So he thought and thought and thought until... The fly recalled the sounds he had heard that day. He mixed them all up in a brand new way. He crossed a bridge, stepped beyond the line, took a chance, and began to shine. Swish, zoom, zappity, boop, ribbit, ribbit. Zappity, doom, bang, oink, oink. Swish, zap, zappa, zappa, hee, ha, hee. Zappa, dabba, rooba, dabba, roof, roof, roof. Zappa, dabba, 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 hee, ha, roony. Oink, zappa, hee, ha, ribbit, rough, ding. The beetles and the maggots stopped eating their chow. Can you imagine so a song so good that you would stop eating your food? Finn cannot imagine that. He would probably not stop eating his food for anything, but maybe this song is just good enough. Willie and Nancy and Sammy said, wow. The cockroach waiter shouted, go man, go. Dig that fly, he can really blow. The joint was hopping, hopping, wriggling on the floor. They had never heard a sound like this before. Now, word got out about the jazz bug sound, about the white hot drummer who broke new ground. The Beatles packed the club, locusts came by swarm. The jazz bug's names went up in lights. And to make sure he never lost his way, the fly picked up his friends in the limo each day. The end. What did you think of that story, Finn? Did you like the part with the dog? Or did you like the part how he mixed up all the sounds? You were a very good listener. Good job. Part 9, you were a good listener too, even though you didn't really look at the picture so much. What did you think of that story? You liked it too? I hope the kids liked it. Thanks for listening!